Good Mythical Morning. In today's episode, Rhett has another one of his conspiracies. You mean another one of his truths. Sure I do. And it's sponsored by Amazon Prime Video's new TV series, Homecoming. Homecoming is a mind-bending psychological thriller directed by Sam Esmail, the creator of Mr. Robot, with Julia Roberts in her first starring television role, y'all. I'm just saying, all right, I'm pointing out that the only reason we think we're in Florida is because that's what they told us, right? I mean, that's the only reason we have to believe that. If we're not in Florida, where are we? I don't know, right? That's my whole point. See, why would they hide that from us? Or they're not hiding it. You're wrong and we are in Florida. Oh, because I'm usually wrong? And when I feel like a situation could potentially be f***ed up? No, you're not. Because it never lied to us before? Red and I got a sneak peek at the first few episodes. We can't wait to see how it ends because each episode is presented in a collage of memories from past and present, and they're only 30 minutes in length, which makes it extremely binge worthy with lots of mysterious twists yes. and turns that unravel throughout. It premieres on Prime Video tomorrow, that's November 2nd. So check it out. Yeah, and in Homecoming, all answers lead to more questions, which is just the case with a Category 5 truth storm I'm about to hit you with. It's time for another edition of Hard Truth. Sponsored by Homecoming. Good morning, sheeple. Don't get startled if you're drinking a cup of water. In fact, drop it right now and ideally splash it in the face of the closest sleepwalking cookie cutter conformist near you to literally and figuratively wake them up. I, oh, hey. <laughs> I was already awake. Okay, stick with me, Link. We're off to a great start. Link, what do you know about fluoride in the water? Um, it, it's, it's in the water to prevent tooth decay. It's a good thing, Rhett. That's what they want you to believe. End of story. Today, I'm gonna tell you all about how the government puts fluoride in the water to mass control the entire population and to keep us chained to our deceptive overlords. And that is only the beginning. Of course. Come with me. Come with me. Okay. Turn your head. I'm here, come, man. Come with me. Just turn a little bit back. Let the people see your face. Right there. It's perfect. 45 <laughs> degrees. Come with me on a little trip back to 1901. A young dentist named Charles McKay travels to Colorado Springs and discovered that the residents had disgusting brown stains on their teeth, and this became known as the Colorado Brown Stain, which is also what happened to me after I tried the elk nachos at the Denver airport. Upon closer inspection, Dr. McKay discovered that while they had stained teeth, they had no tooth decay whatsoever but they did have a lot of fluoride in the water. It turns out, as you know, fluoride prevents tooth decay, but they want you to I knew that. I'm here to tell you, if it's brown, flush it down, people. Fast forward to 1944. The Michigan Department of Health votes to approve adding fluoride to the water despite no conclusive tests. Okay, you know how the people of Michigan like to use their hand to tell you where they're from? You've seen this, yeah, right? Met, they I, use the right hand, not the left hand. The right hand. Yep, see that? Now point somewhere on Michigan to tell me where you might be from in Michigan if you were there. Just point somewhere on there. Just point, so no, no, I'm touch pointing. it, you touch it. You have to touch it. Gotcha! Michigan gotcha! That's how Michigan gets you! Do you see how quick that was? Cat light reflexes. That was your point, Michigan gets you? Yeah, All right. Michigan got us. That's crucial, because you build on that. After 11 years of adding fluoride to the water, it was found that 40,000 school children seem to have less tooth rot. And next thing you know, they start adding fluoride to the water supply across the entire country to poison us. Now, why would the government poison us, you ask? Why would the government poison us? I'm glad you're paying attention. The government poisons us with fluoride because they cannot control a population of potentially psychically gifted X-Men, or excuse me, X-People, which we would be if not for fluoride, Link. Okay, so what about not having tooth decay makes you psychic? Keep listening. No, it makes you not I'm gonna psychic. break it down. Why don't you enjoy some pine nuts while you're listening and being woken up? Okay, good. Finally something I can get into. <laughs> fluoride has been added to 70% of the American drinking water, the largest incidence of mass involuntary medication. Fluoride is toxic and 50 to 60% of fluoride stays and builds up in the body, mostly in the pineal gland. What's a pineal gland, you might ask? What's a pineal gland? Great question, Link. 
Government scientists will tell you that the pineal gland is for sleep and reproduction, but we know that the pineal gland is known by many as our third eye. It's where we store our psychic abilities. Link, can I use you as a demonstration? I, I would love it, Rhett. Link, what am I thinking about right now? Something horrible, like, I don't know, mind control. Nope, I'm thinking about Burt Reynolds in heaven playing checkers with a baby zebra. And you would have known that if your brain was not compromised with fluoride. See how conclusive this already is? You drank all the same water now, I did growing the up. The pineal gland lives deep Apparently in the brain more of it. and is shaped, it, the pineal gland is shaped like a pine nut, which you have been eating and chewing on just like the fluoride chews on your brain. Link, this is your brain. That's your brain on fluoride. <laughs> But that's not all, the government doesn't do this alone. They have help. Link. Do you brush your teeth? Yes. <laughs> the government is helped. I'm not I, usually this involved in your, in your conspiracies, man. Do you really need me for this? The government this is helped by their longtime henchmen. Link, you ever heard of a dentist? Yes, I've heard of a dentist. Did You're you, asking me questions that- Do you know what dentist means? Don't ever. Doctors, evil, need to incapacitate statistically. Too true! All dentists are evil and they wanna incapacitate people because yeah. they're sadistic. Let me show you a little video from Australia. ADA um, and uh, other uh, dental professional groups will not speak to anybody from the anti-fluoridation side, but I've been asked to uh, not refer to myself as a, a past president of the Dental Association of South Australia. In fact, I'm no longer a member uh, of the Dental Association over this issue. Now, relatedly, I've also been asked not to refer to myself as a past president of the <laughs> Dental Association of South Australia, but I'm not a dentist, nor am I Australian. But here's the deal. People, uh, dentists who don't go with the fluoride party line, they get blacklisted, Link, because dentists are in on the conspiracy. But if you need any more proof that dentists are evil, just look at their freaking tools. Don't use that on me. Don't do it. Let me, let me, let me. I don't want you to do this part. Open, open. <laughs> Open, open. You see how resistant he is? That's I'm opening, whatever. That's because even though your pineal gland is severely compromised, it's still intact enough to know that dentists are evil. Come because, on, go you know for what? It. I, don't, I don't care. You know what, I'm, I'm done with I that I wanna part. support you. I'm done with no, that No, I wanna support you. There's probably some pine nut back there. I don't wanna hurt you. Okay, listen. Dentists, you would think that they're doctors, but they're not. They're more like tooth janitors. And if you really want to get your teeth clean, why are you going to stick things like this in when you could use a tooth mop? Now, Link, this is when I really need you to open your mouth. <laughs> get it in there, Neil. This is a demonstration that people need to know. Open up wide. I'm going to clean your teeth the way that you've always needed. How's that? It's kind of dusty. Okay, now I know that most of you what, are- What was your, what did that prove? Just stay with me. <laughs> I know that most of you are already convinced, but some of you are thinking, I don't even drink tap water. Ha <laughs> ha, if you only knew. Well, you're about to. The water, the dentist, what if I told you that's all old news? What if I told you that the modern highest source of fluoride in today's culture is kombucha? Yep. Kombucha, Link. You heard of it? The highest source of fluoride? The modern poison pawn of corrupt government mind control, to be specific. Now, kombucha is produced using an organism known as the SCOBY, and haters will tell you this stands for symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast, which, gross, but the truth is right here, Link. You know what SCOBY means, Link? Soon. Kathy. 
Scary chemicals oversaturating bodies. Yikes! <sighs> Gosh, it's so exhausting getting the truth out. Now, Americans oh, have moved- Oh, you telling me. <laughs> Americans have moved away from tap water because of taste. And government had to create a contingency, so they invented the modern health movement. And the favorite beverage of health nuts? Kombucha. Hello! How else could something this gross be accepted by the public? <laughs> Look at that. While I shake that in front of your face, listen to some facts. Kombucha has tons of fluoride. Hello! And they tell you, they, they, the public accepts it because they tell you that it's good for you. But no, it's keeping the public as sheep. Your health drink is poison. Hello? Listen to this. Kombucha is suspicious for a number of reasons. You have to drink it in small doses to get used to it, like poison. Hello? You have to show ID to buy it because the government is tracking you. Hello? Kombucha can also easily explode in this bottle if you're not careful. Did someone say government-fueled domestic terrorism? Government Hello? Wake up, Link! Kombucha terrorism. has been compromised. There you have it. The government has conspired with their sadistic dentist army to force feed us brown stain poison, calcifying our ability to reach metaphysical and psychic heights. And not even quote unquote health drinks are safe because nothing and no one is safe in this accelerated dystopian republic built on fear and compliance. That's it. That's all I got. Very convincing, right? You did good. All right, you wanna go take a nap now? Sure. Okay. Thanks to Homecoming for partnering with us. It premieres tomorrow, November 2nd, on Prime Video, so check it out. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Jazzy. And I'm Zane. And we're in La Jacuzzi, and it's time to spend the wheel of mythicality. <laughs> Fun in the jacuzzi. Okay. Click the top link to watch us do a weird toothpaste flavor taste test and good mythical. In a jacuzzi. Woo! <laughs> to find out where the wheel of mythicality is.